You look out there right now, absolutely oppressive heat. 106 for Ames, 105 for Des Moines for a heat index. Nearly 100 or greater across the entire state. The actual air temperature coming in at 93. But you look at the dew point, and it's kind of the wall of water effect. As you're walking around outside, that mugginess is just unbearable. Though it hasn't spawned any storms today, and I don't think it will. We've got clear skies out there at the moment. Could see a couple clouds by the evening hours and into the overnight. Otherwise, temperatures remain downright hot. 98 degrees by 4 p.m. And you look across the region even, and it's warmer off to the southwest. 101 for North Platte, Dodge City at 103. The reason we're all seeing this incredible heat is the ridge that we've got built up over the top of us, and this looks to stay in place over the next couple days. So if you're hoping for a relaxation from this heat, it's not going to be happening anytime soon here. You look, though, through the overnight hours, a few clouds out there, and into tomorrow could see an isolated shower or thunderstorm, mainly metro and areas off to the south there. If you're northern portions of the state, you're not going to get any, uh, any free cool showers out there. Off to the west, though, storms start to brew again by Saturday morning and begin to push eastward. So chances at more showers and thunderstorms into your weekend. And I mean, Saturday is going to be hot, too, so that could make it feel a little bit nicer outside. Today, though, not so nice. 98 degrees, 110 to 115 is the heat index range that you'll likely be feeling through most of the afternoon. And central portions of the state, oh, we're all in it together here. 96 for Indianola, Osceola at 94. Hot and muggy no matter where you're at. Low to mid 60s off to the southwest with sunshine. And if you're Pocahontas, 93. Jefferson at 93 as well with sunshine. But humidity, heat, it's lingering literally everywhere. Low to mid uh, 90s off to the northeast there with a few clouds. Otherwise, off to the southeast, still sitting in the uh, middle 90s for high temperatures today. And if that's not enough, the UV index is very high today, too. So if you do plan on heading outside, bring water, coat that sunscreen on, because it's going to be one of those days, just a dangerous day to be outside. Tomorrow, again, more of the same, 95. Could see a few isolated showers and thunderstorms throughout your day as well. And that heat index is going to continue to climb. As you see throughout the day today, um, that's going to climb into the 110 range or so. Tonight we get a brief break, but you look through the overnight, and we're still hanging on to the upper 80s for heat indices. And tomorrow, another hot one, 106 by 4 p.m. Areas to the west getting it a little bit worse. 113 for Sioux City. Council Bluffs coming in at 106. So this excessive heat warning is in effect until 7 p.m. on Saturday. And that's when the bulk of the heat will stick around to. Sunday we get a little bit of a break, but still looking pretty warm out there. 91 for a high, 87 on Monday. You can see scattered chances for showers and thunderstorms both Friday and Saturday with more chances into Tuesday. But even though we start to relax from the heat, we still stick in the upper 80s. All right.